Good morning, Inkscape friends. Yesterday I showed you how to make the template that we use in Inkscape automatically launch the Glowforge one or whatever template you want to use. I'll put a link to that video up here in the corner if you missed it. It was unbelievably easy and pretty darn nifty. Uh, I had a user from that post though ask me, hey, why they don't have the brush script font. So I decided to take a moment to show you how to add fonts to your Windows computer. So let's start by going to a Google page and type in free fonts so I can just show you how this works. When you click on the free fonts Google search, there are many, many to search from. I'm just going to go to the thousand and one free fonts and these are all beautiful, but check this out. They're only free for personal use. Now the user that was talking to me asked about the brush script. So I'm just going to pick any brush script and I'm going to download this and I'm going to show you what we find out when we do it. So I've made a folder called downloads and I put fonts there. I'm going to save it and then I'm going to visit that folder. When I do show in folder it shows everything and I'm going to right click and I'm going to unzip it using 7-zip which is my favorite uh, archive extractor and I'm going to put it in its own folder so the little pieces go with it. When we open that file here's the license request. This is super important you must contact them before any commercial use they're free in personal projects nonprofit and charity if you make money so if you're making something with your Glowforge you need to purchase a commercial license this is pretty common for all the other ones uh, you can see here I opened another font that had the same thing and then the first font that I launched had a real long list of things including saying if you're doing for-profit scrapbooking digital scrapbooking and essentially all the cool things we do with our laser cutters then we need to ask uh, and pay for that particular font so let's return to our Google search and this time let's type free commercial fonts and see what we find there are lots of websites we can choose but I'm gonna just pick this one up here at the top and when you look down through the list, there are some really, really neat ones. I'm going to just grab Black Chancery, and I'm going to hit Download. And I'm going to put it in that same font folder. Just to make sure you understand how many tabs of options there are, I'm going to go through and find a couple more. And I think I'm going to use this Delph Tone Stylus Regular. Once again, I just download it, make sure it's in that same folder, and then I can move to the next step to learn how to install it. So here is my black chancery. I'm going to unzip it as I did before in its own folder, and I'm going to do the same thing for that Delph Tone Stylus. I'm going to go into the little folder I just made, black chancery first. Uh, there is a text document with it. Let's read quick. It is based on the public domain bitmap, so therefore it is free for us to use everywhere. I'm going to close that, right click on it, and choose install. Now you do have to have admin rights on the computer you're working on to do this, but that is how easy it is to add a font. Let's go back to the Delph Tone Stylus. I'm not going to click on the web page because I don't really know where it's going, but I will take a look at the PDF quick. It mentions that it is a free font from typo, Typodermic Fonts. And as I read through all this, it feels like this may not really be a free font. So I'm just not going to install it. I'm not that adamant that I have to have that font in my system when I know that I can search for other ones that are really commercial free. Let's launch Inkscape again. Still so happy about how cool that template pops in there. That saves me a step every time. Let's put in a word. How about I'm going to promote my website this time by putting in hlmodtech.com. And let's go down and find that new script we added called Black Chancery. There's Black Adder. And there is Black Chancery. When I click Apply, all of a sudden my font is awesome and pretty fun to work with. So there you have it friends, that's how easy it is to find brand new commercial free fonts that you can use in Inkscape and then cut with your Glowforge. 
Friends, if you found this movie useful, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or even a suggestion for my next movie, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.